Good morning, friends. Well, I have a little story, a couple stories I wanted to share with you. Well, first off, um, thank you if you were praying and saw on my story and in my cooking group, I talked about my contact lens got stuck in my eye. So if you're like, what's going on with your eyes? You can see this eye is like kind of swollen and puffy. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? Yeah. So this eye... I had a contact lens stuck in it and it was very painful. I ended up having to go to the doctor, but thank you for praying because they did not have to flip my eyelid, which is a terrible experience. This is like the fourth time that I have soft contacts and it folded in half and it like went up into my eye and I have deep set eyes as you guys can see. And so when it goes back into my eye socket, it gets like stuck way back there. Hi Lori, how are you? So anyways, I tried for like 14 hours. Actually, it was longer. It was like, it was probably almost 24 hours by the time I went to the eye doctor to get it out myself. And I just couldn't get it. And so um, bless, bless the eye doctor who, I was so like living in fear to go because I remember my previous experience and it wasn't pleasant. Anyways, she did not flip my eyelid, which you guys can look that up on Google. It's not fun. It's really not fun. So if you've had that, you can just let me know. And I'm, I just, I love you because it's so hard. So anyways, she used a Q-tip and just kind of like raised my, my eyelid and was able to get the contact lens out, which I was like, thank you, Jesus. So anyways, that is why this eye is a little bit swollen and irritated today. And I'm coming to you pretty much all natural here because I was in my Bible time and I just felt really strongly I needed to come give you guys this message. I, <clears throat> so this is, I want to read you something that I wrote. I was reviewing a journal. Do you guys journal at all? Do you write down like your prayer requests to God? Do you write down your goals? Which you guys, if you took my training from the summit, you guys know you better be writing down your goals, right? So <clears throat> this is some, this was just a prayer. This was just a prayer, but I'm going to read it to you directly. This was in 2011. I wrote this and I said, God, could you microwave popcorn this request, please? I know this is asking a lot. I need you. I need your help. Oh, is that there's so much truth in this statement. It got me thinking about social media and all the things we're exposed to today. So we have TikTok, we now have Instagram Reels, we have YouTube Shorts, which I know I share some of these things with you guys that I create content with, um, and they're so fun. Aren't they fun? So these little short videos on TikTok and then Instagram took to it as well, and they're all like 60 seconds, 30 seconds, some are 15 seconds long and they captivate you and they capture your attention and that's the goal. So that lately I keep seeing this one and tell me if you guys see this too. It's very, very popular um, and I should make one. I think I'll make one for you guys. I gotta think about that. But it goes like this. Let's skip right to the good part and then you, they smash their hand like that, right? You guys feel me? And then all of a sudden the confetti's falling. Oh, and oh, I have to do it right. Oh, 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 right? And, and this actually, this confetti's perfect example because half the time it's like a pregnancy journey. Um, so they show a mama pregnant and then they show, boom, she had a baby girl. And we're like, oh, and we're all feeling all the feels, right? We're like, oh, 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 all of the feels. And that's for our 30 seconds, one minute, however long the, the video is. There's a ton of them out there for weight loss. So they show the person who's overweight and then boom, confetti drops and it's oh, 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 and they're thin. Boom, like that, right? Let's skip right to the good part. Oh, wait, you guys, the, here's the truth. You can't skip to the good part. You can't skip to the good part. We love the idea, dear God, 
Please microwave popcorn this request. Please make it happen now and in my time frame. But you guys, you guys, there is blessings in the journey. There is blessings in the journey. So when you're thinking about this, when you are getting your workout shoes on every morning, when you are making your meal plan every day, and you are in the mundane, the day-to-day -day grind, and you're like, oh, I just wish I could. Skip right to the good part. God is teaching you something. And he's going to use your mess to make a message. He is going to use your hard to help someone else and bless their day. You can't just skip to the good part because you would miss out on the blessings on the journey, friends. He has that for you. I'm like on fire about this right now because I know he has that for you. Somebody needs this message today. If that's you, please say me. It's me because I know he does. I was praying about this and I was like, I got to come on here, swollen eye and all, because I need you to hear that even though maybe God isn't microwave popcorn popcorning an answer for you today, he's got a lesson for you on the journey. You guys, I have a, a short story about, I was about 18 years old and I was overweight. Now, if you guys know my journey, I have tried every diet out there. Up, down, up, down, all the things, slim fast. I've done the leek soup diet. I have done, um, oh my gosh, help me, name some. I, I've done them all, I've done them all. Every horrible one you can, Atkins, I've done everything, everything. So um, there was a season, I don't even know how I got connected to this or got the idea in my brain, but I was like, I'm gonna go get liposuction because I just need, I just need them to suck my fat out. That Then I'll be perfect and I'll be fine. So I go with my dad. I actually went with my dad, which is the irony of that because, you know, my dad is a term healthy papa. So we show up at the doctor there and they tell me, you need to lose 25 pounds and stop eating grapes. And then you can come back and have liposuction. And my first thought was, wait, if I have to lose 25 pounds, then I won't need liposuction. And two, wait, what, grapes? I'm sorry, what's wrong with grapes? And the only thing I got from them was there's four calories per grape, which I, it's so funny, before I got in here, I was like, how many calories are in grapes? I'm just super curious. Uh, and there's 62 calories in a cup of grapes. But how many people actually go, um, I, I am overweight because of grapes. I have no idea why that doctor said that to me, but it stuck with me since I was 18 years old. Um, I know why I was overweight. It was not grapes, friends. It was Dairy Queen. I'm telling you, I was the Dairy Queen girl. I lived at Dairy Queen. I did not order a small or now they have the mini. No, no, no. I got the jumbo, the large. I could top that off, finish it, get it, you know, the extension, add the extra cookie dough on top, squirt the fudge on. That was this girl. Okay, so I just want to tell you guys that I know people say things on our journey that get stuck in our heads, whether they're true or not. Okay, the thing was, is I was looking for the shortcut. I was looking for the way out. So I went to the doctor. That's why we see all these diets. That's why we see the pills. Oh, pop this pill and you're going to magically be thin. Is it true? No, but we so long, I mean, here I am, 2011. God, could you microwave popcorn this request? Please, please, I'm begging him. I know this is asking a lot. I need you, I need your help. But he has something for us, friends. He has something for us on the journey. Had he not taken me on this journey, I was so addicted to sugar. He took me on a ride, a ride of my life that I'm not done. I'm a work in progress, not perfect by any means, by any standard. But God took my brokenness. He took my cries for help. He took my request to get off of my addiction for sugar. 
and he gave me the tools and the resources that I needed to do it. And then that started me down the path so that I could be here today right now telling you that I am not addicted to sugar. I haven't had Dairy Queen and I don't know when. I have no idea the last time I had Dairy Queen. I have zero desire to stop at Dairy Queen. I can drive by Dairy Queen. I don't bat an eye, not an eye. That is God's goodness through the journey, not by microwave popcorning an answer for me, but by teaching me. So what is he teaching you today? What hard, mundane things do you have to show up for today in this moment so you can be the best you? So you can do the things you're called to do because you want to minister to those kids, you want to minister to your family, your neighborhoods, your community? You can, friends. But you might have to do the hard. You've got to go through the journey so you can help someone who's going through their journey right? Ooh, it's good stuff. Okay. God is going to make you in the journey stronger, more courageous, confident, fierce, and he's going to help you overcome obstacles so that when you hit the next hurdle, because you will, like a contact stuck in your eye, it's very uncomfortable, He's going to help you overcome those things and know they don't last forever. They don't last forever. It's a season. It's a season. Okay, so I did not have liposuction. I lost the weight on my own. That was a long time ago. That was through several diets. And then I came to Trim Out the Mama and I have been able to sustain. And then I've gone on my own journey with that, right? It's a journey. We never are going to be there until we go to heaven. We're never going to arrive to that perfection that we're longing for. So we have to be willing to say, okay, what do I need to do now for this time, for this season? So where are you at? You can't, friends. You can't skip right to the good part. I wish, right? You heard my prayer. I wish you could. So that is why I'm here today. I wanted to tell you that God wants to use your journey to heal you, to bless you, to strengthen you, to encourage you, and to remember that the good, co- the good part comes through your faithfulness to do the mundane. You feel me, guys? To do the day-to-day hard. There's no skipping to the good part. So we can all enjoy those. We can all, oh, 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 oh. Go catch the beginning if you're just jumping on here. Uh, There's no skipping. There is no skipping to the good part. There is no microwave popcorning results. They come from your effort. They come from your commitment. They come from your desire to change. So just remember that. Okay, I love you guys. Who's hanging out here today? Jennifer, Marie, Lucinda, hi friends. Tiffany, so good to see you guys. Beverly, how are you? Oh, hi Denise. Oh, Nutrisystem. I actually never did Nutrisystem. I did not do that one. Hi Dina. Hello, Kelly, Tanya, blessings in the journey. Yes, sister, amen, amen. All right, if you guys guys have any questions before I hop off here, I just felt really strongly that I need to come tell you guys this because I know we all all love those cute videos. I mean, I do too, they're super fun. But think think of the mom who's pregnant. There was no skipping the pregnancy to the good part. Doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen, you guys. Hi, Marie. (sighs) All right. Well, you guys have a blessed day. That's all I have for you. If you have any thoughts or questions, I'd love for you to comment down below and I'll check them out later. But you guys have a great day. 
And if you are not in my cooking group, I will see you cop on over to Simply Cooking with Coach Sarah. I'll put a link for you guys. I will be cooking up something in the kitchen tomorrow for you guys. So we'll see you then. Okay, have a great day. Bye, guys.